But what do we have here? Ooh, I'm gonna make myself a sandwich. Dude, there's something on the glass table. You should go check it out. What? What? <gasps> what is this? So it turns out that that weird stuff was the Pokemon trading card game, Sword and Shield expansion, Rillaboom theme deck, and the Rebel Clash expansion, Zamazenta theme deck. So, let's get these things open and see what's inside. Alright, let's get the Zamazenta theme deck opened. Alright, let's see, we open it from here. Oh wow, over here we have an ID if you wanted to play the card game online. We got some reference cards. Ooh, this is cool. It seems like it's a checklist of sorts. Let's see what it is. Oh wow, so this seems to be a checklist from the Rumble Clash expansion. And as we can see, we got some cool stuff here in the back. Over here, we have some quick start rules. Not bad. We got some damage counters. Oh wait, two of those fell out, wow. All right, over here we have the single player playmat. So let's open this up. Wow, this looks pretty cool. And it's only for one player, so if you want to play with two players, you're gonna have to get another one of these theme decks. And over here we have the deck. So let's get this thing opened. All right, so the first card we have here is a Metal Energy. We have a Pharaoh Seed that knows the move Rollout, quite cool. We have a Rookity that knows Flap and Glide. A Pharaoh Thorn, which knows Triple Smash and Energy Slap. A Pawniard that knows Cut Up and Metal Claw. Another Rookity. A Duraludon, this guy knows Metal Sharpener and Power Beam. Another Pharaoh Seed, Metal Energy. A Zamazenta, now this guy's cool. It knows Guard Press and Power Rush. All right, over here we have a Bice Sharp that knows Charge Order and Slicing Blade. Uh, we have Metal Energy, Metal Energy. We have Hop, which allows you to draw three cards. A Metal Saucer, another Hop, another Hop. Some Professor's Research, which is quite a cool card. You basically discard your hand and then you draw another seven cards. A Switch, another Rookity, another Ferrothorn, another Professor's Research. We got Sonya here, which is another Trainer card. We got Corvus Squire, which knows Pluck and Drill Peck. Metal energy, metal energy, metal energy, metal energy. We have a switch. Uh, we have another hop. We have a great ball. Another great ball. More metal energy. Another Corvus Squire. And a Corvus Knight. This guy knows Peck and Iron Wings. Quite powerful. We have another Duraludon. More metal energy. A Pharaoh Seed. A Potion. Metal energy, metal energy. A Corvus Squire. Metal energy. A Corvus Knight. Metal energy, metal energy. A potion, another Ponyard, Pokey Kid, Pokey Kid, Metal Saucer, Metal Energy, a Bite Sharp, Metal Energy. We have Dan here, another Ponyard, more Metal Energy. We have Sonya, and we have another Dan. And now over here, we have the really cool foil Zamazenta. It's the same as the other one, except it has a cooler background. And over here, we have a coin that you can use to flip. Oops. <laughs> All right, let's get the Real Boom theme deck opened. Okay. Over here, we have another checklist, so let's see what this looks like. As you can see, we have a checklist from the Sword and Shield expansion, rather than the Sword and Shield Rebel, Rebel Clash one. Over here we have a cool looking back with the Rillaboom, Maractus, Eldegoss, and Snorlax. Uh, over here we have an ID if you want to play this deck online. Uh, we have more reference cards, like what you can do during your turn, and poison, paralysis, all that sort of thing. Uh, over here we have some more quick start rules, very nice. And here we have more damage counters. We have another single player playmat, so you can mix this up with the Zamazenta one, and then two players can play on this. And this one, as you can see, looks quite cool. Oh man, it's nice. Okay, and over here, and on the side, we have a coin that you can use to flip. I dropped it again. I suck at flipping coins. Alright, let's get this deck open. 
Okay, so the first thing we got is some grass energy. We have another hop. We have a great ball. We have more grass energy. We have Professor's Research. Grass energy. Another hop. Um, more grass energy. Another hop. Grass energy. A Thwacky, which knows beat an ambush. Grass energy. A Pokey Kid. Uh, we have an Eldegoss over here, and it knows Blessing of Fluff and Leafage. We have a Potion. We have a Great Ball. We have a Grookey, which knows Scratch and Beat. We have another Grass Energy. We have a Whimsicott that knows Cotton Ride and Leaf Step. We have a Cottony that knows Attach. Another Cottony. Uh, a Thwacky that uh, has Beat and Ambush. A Rookie. Grass Energy. A Snorlax, which knows Rolling Tackle and Heavy Impact. We have another Hop. We have Grass Energy. We have another Goss Floor. Oh wait, that's not. First time this Goss Floor has appeared here. So Goss Floor knows Call for Family and Razor Leaf. We have Read the Boom that knows Drum Roll and Drum Beating. Uh, we have Switch. We have Grass Energy. We have another Pokey Kid. We have another Grass Energy. Another Grass Energy. We have Maractus over here that knows Z and Powerful Needles. We have an Ordinary Rod. We have Snorlax. We have another Goss Floor. We have an Eldegoss, and this guy knows Blessing of Fluff and Leafage. Another Goss Floor, we got a Switch, Grookey, a Thwacky, Grass Energy, a Pokemon Center Lady, Grass Energy, another Maractus, Grass Energy, Grass Energy, a Whimsicott, Professor's Research, Grass Energy, a Great Ball, a Cottony, a Potion, a Great Ball, another Professor's Research. Over here we have Poke Gear 3.0, and another Grass Energy. And over here, we have a really cool foil looking reel of boom. It's the same one as the other thing, but it's, it has this foil background and those drum roll and drum beating. Wow, there's some really cool stuff inside those theme decks. In the next video, we'll be teaching you how to play the game. Stay tuned.